Atuku Abubaka, the fa former vice president of Nigeria on Sunday, has asked the federal government to explain the 7.8 trillion naira outstanding subsidy claims by the Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited, despite the subsidy removal by the Tinubu's administration. Now, apart from the NNPCL's claims, the IMF has also estimated that subsidy payments this year will constitute 3% of GDP, which is about $7.5 billion. This will be about 11.8 trillion naira. Yet the petrol scarcity continues to linger while the Tinubu administration continues to frustrate the Dangote refinery and even its own NNPCL facilities. Obviously, the subsidy regime has become an even wider conduit pipe through which monies for funding of the 2027 election will come from. The former vice president in a statement by Frank Schreibel, his special assistant on public communications, wondered why the firm owned by the president's nephew got an accelerated approval on the purchase deal. Now, that's another story on its own, but let's look at the allegation on fuel subsidy. This has been on. We also discussed this on Friday. There were stories around it, this um, research that was made and then discoveries that were made, research that was done and discoveries that were made concerning the fuel subsidy. Statement by the NNPCL being held on to by the as a former vice president of Nigeria, Tiku Abubaka. People already speaking up and saying, if you're paying subsidy, why don't you just tell us? Well, I, I wish I'm a government spokesman right now. And I believe I would have availed myself with the relevant information that surrounds the fuel uh, subsidy directly. So when I'm speaking, I should have been speaking authoritatively. So I would like to say that the request and the demand of most uh, eminent Nigerians on the government to clearly tell us if they are paying subsidy or not, because government have always reaffirmed that they are not paying subsidy, that the fuel subsidy have been removed. So if I want to trust uh, Mr. President, I will agree that fuel subsidy have been removed. But hence there are informations, you know, uh, uh, coming out from different quarters on the issue of subsidy being paid. I would like to ask that the government spokesman that has better information on this matter should create time and see how they will address and give Nigerians the proper information that surrounds the payment of fuel subsidy. But of today, if I want to trust my president, Mr. President, I will say fuel like subsidy has been removed because I like to respect leaders and trust them until they, they prove uh, otherwise. So, so this, with this action, you don't see any otherwise proof? Well, yet. until the, inf you know, you can get information from anywhere. So I, I like to say now. we're talking about the F NMPCL F statement and we're talking about the M um, Yes, the, the statement by the NMPCL. Let's even hold on to the NMPCLs first. NMPCLs my, statement. my case and my position is this, that I do not have the full knowledge about... Of course, nobody is expecting so, you to give so, the knowledge yeah, so of that's what you don't I'm, have. I'm only well, just... Well, you're talking as a Nigerian now. How do you see this story? I'm supporting to say, that's why I said that, government spokesman, somebody from government who understand what surrounds the subsidy should come up quickly and address Nigerians and inform Nigerians that, see, actually we are not paying subsidy. Maybe the money that they are using to uh, subsidize the importation of PMS, fuel for us, maybe they have given it another name, no longer subsidy. Okay, but you said to subsidize, right? No, no, I, you see... So we can never replace that word, subsidize. No, there may be another word that... Well, okay, why do you need to use it now? Maybe you it, could said be it could be a reduction price. Well, know, that, that's the definition of subsidy. I, I don't know. So that's why I said that. <laughs> when government uh, spokesmen come, mm. they will tell us that actually what we are calling subsidy <laughs> is not subsidy again, no. But we're actually, you know, reducing the cost of a, a product with social amount of money, but it's no longer called subsidy. So when they come out, they will not tell us if, uh, if they see subsidy <laughs> payment or there is another kind of payment, you know, that is no longer called a uh, subsidy. So that's why I said that government agents should, a spokesman from government, 
should quickly, because it's a burner issue all around different uh, media right now. So I trust Mr. President that in no distant time, if not himself, his spokesman or somebody from the uh, Ministry of uh, Information is going to give Nigerians an the answer right, uh, to information. that, but until then, you trust your president and you um, believe yeah, that. Yeah, I trust so my soon. president. He said right. something has been removed, and mm. I believe it has Thank been Thank you removed. so much. We appreciate, just as you trust the president, we appreciate you. don't trust you. your president. We appreciate.